Hey guys, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve 19 editing tutorial. In this video, it's not going to really be an editing tutorial. I just want to go over some of the new titles, transitions and effects that DaVinci Resolve 19 has compared to the older generations. And I also want to help you guys out by also going over some free third party transitions, titles, effects that you can install for free on your own editing systems inside of DaVinci Resolve. So you can add that to your collection. So when you're editing, you've got some more effects, titles and transitions that you can play with. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve 19 and let's have a look at some of the cool new titles, effects and transitions that you can actually play around with. So, so these are just some clips that I took for my um, DJI action for review video which if you are interested in you can check out here as well so let's just have a quick playthrough so these are just some boring cuts so let's just spice it up by adding in some transitions so to access the transitions effects and titles all you need to do is just go over to effects and we'll go to transitions so pretty much all of this stuff here is pretty much the same old um, but the new ones if you scroll down to fusion transitions You've got uh, block transitions, block glitch transitions, box twist. So if you hover over them, you can actually see a preview of how it will look before you add them in. So brightness flash, camera shake. The camera shake one is pretty interesting. So let's just add that in. So that actually looks really cool. And as you can see, it's got a really cool transition glitch effect, which actually makes my older tutorials, my OG tutorials back in the day, kind of redundant my transition ones where I went to fusion and did some glitch transitions um, now they've made it easier to do so you don't have to go in there and manually do it yourself so that's actually really really handy you've got camera shake so you can go in here and make sure that your inspector window is open go over to transition and you can see that we've added that camera shake effect or transition and you can adjust the shake speed so if you don't want it to be too shaky you can make it a little bit more smoother um, you can add motion blur as well so it looks more like a natural camera shake so that's actually really cool and another thing is because this transition is a fusion transition as you can see over here you can actually go over to the effect camera shake and you can click this fusion icon here and that will take you into fusion and you can see how this transition works this applies to all the fusion transitions so you can go in there and you can see your camera shake and you can double click and you can go in there and i guess break it down and figure out how this transition was built this is also helpful for everyone that's want to learn fusion and you know don't understand how all of these nodes connect go in there and adjust you know displace modifiers go in there and you can you know adjust how all this works and figure out how they've piped it in for you so with titles i've noticed that um, they're kind of mixed in the fusion titles are mixed in with some of the older ones and there's also some new ones let me just find it so a new one would be comic title i've never seen this one before another one is elegant shadow so this is an interesting one just put this over here so elegant shadow you've got this nice sort of like modern-esque minimalistic sort of title we can go in there and change it so we'll put in uh, mcfilman so as you can see it's kind of cuts the word a little bit of course if you add more in there if i add yt for youtube you can see that it cuts into it so you can go in there and change the sphere size so we can make it a little bit larger just so it fits uh, you can change the animation speed and adjust the light intensity so you can make it darker or what have you and of course since it is a fusion title um, you can go into fusion and you can customize it even more so as you can see oh this one's quite advanced so if you want to like learn more about how to create something similar to this you can go in there and i guess learn how to do this and also you know customize it to your liking as well retro chrome this is a cool one because a lot of people try to do that sort of vhs sort of look and then you'd have to go in there and create your own custom text so you can easily add this on your sort of 
cool, funky, retro background. And, and you've also got outline repeat as well. So you can go in there and adjust this. This is another really cool one. I've actually used this quite a fair bit on my client ones already. So um, you, know, you can adjust the size of it. You can adjust, let's just go down to height separation. So you can stack them or have them a little bit more separate. Width, sep width separation, horizontal copies, so you can make it fill the screen up, make it stop around there. And of course you can animate them as well. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, titles that you get new in um, DaVinci Resolve. I think there's a few more. Maybe I'm just skimming over them, but again, feel free to have a look in there and check them out yourself. So we'll go over to generators. So there's not too much difference here so it's when you scroll down and you go to fusion generators we've got a whole new section where you can do comic speed lines so you've got this so that's really really cool i like that already you can adjust the textures line separation line stretch you can adjust the angle so if you want it to be a bit more straight on you can do that as well and another thing that you can do is you can put it on top of your footage and you can go over to settings and you know you can go into your composite mode and you can change it to add so if you want some funky overlay effects you can do that as well so yeah you can really just play around with your composite mode and just get some really interesting effects vintage texture so this is pretty cool you got vintage texture as well so you can get creative with titles so you could have let's just say we'll bring the comic title for example it's not the best example but you can use these generators as like a background for your title so you can get creative with it for the sake of this video we'll just leave the comic title like that and then you can change the flicker smoothness uh, flicker minimum adjust that flicker maximum so you can make the flicker more intense you can change the texture size and you can also make this generator, you know, make it go over your footage and then go over to settings and then adjust your composite mode. So you can go to add, so that it creates like an interesting texture over your footage. Stinger transitions is also a very new feature as well. So you've got different logos. So this is good for um, if you're streaming or you can use this as an actual transition. So, so what you can do is you can add a radial shape and you can use this as an actual transition so you just find the midpoint where it covers up the whole screen which is pretty much in the middle anyway so that's all of the new stuff inside of davinci resolve 19 as you can see you can get really creative with some of these new fusion titles and fusion transitions and fusion generators, stinger transitions, all that sort of stuff. So that's actually really cool. I would recommend you guys, if you haven't downloaded 19 already, I would recommend just downloading it and um, start playing around with it. It's a lot of fun just to play around with this. And let's just talk about some of the third party free stuff that you can download for free because it's free. I don't know how many times I'm going to say free, but it is definitely free. So the first free ones that I want to talk about is from a company called Motion VFX. Now they've sponsored my videos in the past, but they're not sponsoring this video. So all you need to do is just download the M installer and then you just sign up to your account in that and everything that you've purchased, you know, through their website will automatically go to your account in the M installer. And that's how you download it to DaVinci Resolve. So you just click install and then you'll be able to install. And then if there's updates for those packs, you will be able to just update it straight from the M installer. So there's a whole bunch of free stuff. So you can go to the website, which I'll be putting up now so you can see all the free stuff that they have. So you can go in there and just add that to your cart and then purchase it. It'll come up zero dollars and then you just save it into your account and it's all saved into your DaVinci Resolve. So you've got this one here, that's just a little logo. These stuff are free here, so you can go in there and add them. Uh, Hello 3D cylinders. I don't really use these that much. And you also get some titles as well, some actual titles. So you can see it here, so Hello 3D. Glitch blur that you can just add. And it just makes your footage, your edits pop even more. This is also another free one as well. So you can, if you have a YouTube channel, you know, you can customize this, throw it in there and, you know, text controls, they change that to McFilman. And you've got yourself 
you know, some lower thirds that you can use in your own videos or client videos. So I probably won't go over all of them. So Matrix is also another free one. This is a lot of fun. You can get really creative with it. So I'll just have a quick look at the transitions and there's not a lot of transitions. So Hello DV Zoom, they only give you one free transition. So M Vertical is also free. Um, Hello DV is free. So with this one, you get some nice sort of like a frame so it looks like you've shot on a vintage camera and yeah so that's pretty much kind of a quick overview of what you get from motion vfx for free if you want to check that out links will be in the description below so there's also another davinci resolve 19 free transition pack out there that you can get from a third party and that's from a store called r visuals so r visuals actually reached out to me and they sent me their full ultimate transition pack now i haven't really played around with that but they also have some demo transitions where you only get five transitions in this pack but if you like these transitions and you feel like you want to get the ultimate pack i would also recommend checking that out and purchasing that for this video i'm only going to be showing you the free stuff so um, I will be making another video in the future going over more in depth of what you get in that ultimate pack. Yeah, so all you need to do to download it is once you've clicked on the link in the description below, um, it'll take you to the demo page. So all you need to do is just put in your email address and it'll actually get sent to your email. And because it is a DaVinci Resolve FX file, so DRFX, you will be able to just click it and you just follow the installation prompts. So again, you only get five sample transitions from each of these packs. I'm in video transitions and I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and then this is what you get from demo transitions. So you get a fade transition, a glitch, spin, stretch, and a zoom transition. So, and of course you can go in there and customize it so you can change the direction of it so you can make it go from left to right or right to left so yeah so that's one of the transitions that you get so that actually looks really nice you can go in there and customize it you have a glitch transition so let's just throw that in there um, and you can change the direction of it of course so instead of it being from you know top to bottom you can change it from you know left and right right and left so you can customize your glitch transition so that's actually really really cool so that's pretty much it for this video as you can tell blackmagic design has put a whole lot of effort into creating new features for davinci resolve 19 they've also created a whole bunch of new fresh visual effects titles transitions stingers all of that sort of stuff that goes into creating a really nice looking polished videos for your clients so as you can see those third-party titles effects transitions that you can actually get for free i hope you guys found that helpful and you know you add that into your own collection because you know you can never have too many you know titles effects and transitions in your kit ready to go for your advanced amazing edits out there so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did give this video a thumbs up if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my next uploads also feel free to follow me on my social medias and have a chat with me there and of course i'll see you guys next time